Hello and welcome back to another cooking show. Now it's really, really cold down on the allotment today. It's the 2nd of December, so it is starting to get cold now. So a nice hearty soup is just perfect. So today I will be making red cabbage, sausage and haricot bean soup. And I'll be using the last of my red cabbages because they're starting to look a bit sorry for themselves now. And I'll also be using my first leek, which I will pull today. So I'm quite excited to see what they've turned out like. Now this soup takes roughly about an hour altogether. There's 20 minutes prep time and then there's 35 minutes cooking time. Now I'm making it today to serve three people. However, you can obviously double the ingredients if you want to serve six um, and so forth. Now the ingredients you will need one tin of haricot beans, one garlic clove, one leek, one tablespoon of corn flour, three cups of vegetable stock, half a pound of potatoes, three pork sausages, half a pound of red cabbage, half a cup of thick double cream, and you'll also need some salt and pepper to season it with. Now I'm going to start by browning off the sausages because that takes about 10 minutes so you can get them ready to add them to the pot. So just get the cooker going. Heat the shed up a little bit because it's very, very cold today. It's actually just started getting cold. We've had a really, really mild autumn which has been great really, but it doesn't feel like Christmas yet. I really want to get in the Christmas mood. Now while the sausages are browning off, I'm going to boil the kettle. So that can be getting ready for the stock. So it has some nice hot water to add to the stock because the kettle takes quite a long time to boil on this. So that can be boiling. The sausages can be browning and I will start to cut up the garlic and the leeks. So this is my first home grown leek. I'm really happy with it. It's quite, it's quite big. I mean, it's not the biggest leek I've ever seen, but for my first time growing leeks, I'm very, very pleased. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to chop its funky hairdo off. And then take the top bit of the green bit off. They can go in the compost later on. And then the best thing to do is just peel off some of the layers. And then go and give it a good wash. Because there's still quite a bit of mud on there. So I'm going to go and give that a wash quick and then I'll chop it up. 
Right, so the kettle's just boiling. So it's time to do the stock now. You need at least three cups of vegetable stock. Now I'm using these little gnaw cubes and one you put one cube into 450 millilitres of boiling hot water so I'm going to use two cubes in 900 millilitres of water and hopefully that will be three cups full. So let's see, 900 millilitres. Is there. So just give that a quick little stir. And while the cubes are dissolving, I'm going to add my chopped up garlic and leeks into this pot. So I have to get the old cooker going again. Pot on there. Let that heat up a little bit. Give the stock another quick stir so that can really get dissolved. Looks like it will be three cups full. So I'm going to pop a tiny bit of oil into the pot. And then you can add your one garlic clove and your one leek, all nicely chopped up, into the pot. Now that needs to cook for roughly about four minutes. So while that's frying up nicely, I'm going to just finish preparing the stock. Now that's nicely dissolved, I'm going to add one tablespoon of corn flour into the stock. There's my teaspoon. So it's just one tablespoon, sorry, not teaspoon. I'm getting all confused now of corn flour into the stock. And then just give that a good stir so the corn flour can dissolve as well. And then give the leeks and the garlic a good stir. So that's frying up nicely so now all you need to do is you need to get half a cup of stock and pop it in the pot with the leeks and the garlic so I use my welly mug so half a cup goes into the pot and then that needs to simmer away for two minutes So now all you need to do is you need to add these sausages. Now I've just chopped them up into chunks. 
uh, just because it makes it easier to eat once it's in the soup. So you need to add the sausages. Add the chopped up potatoes. And then you need to add the rest of the stock. Now the last thing to do is just season it with a bit of salt and pepper. And then you just need to bring it to the boil and then you need to let it simmer for 20 minutes. And then while it's simmering, I think I will get on with a bit of tidying the brassica bed needs a little bit of a weeding and a little bit of a tidying so it gives me the perfect opportunity. Right, so that's had its 20 minutes simmering away. And I just need to take it off the heat. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a hand blender just to mash it up a bit. Now, if you like a really chunky, hearty soup, then you don't obviously need to use the hand blender. Um, but I like quite a smooth soup. And of course, it will then mash up all the potatoes and the leeks and the garlic. Spoon out, that would help. delicious. Now last thing to do is to just add the bits of red cabbage which I have washed and I've shredded as well. Now there's half a pound here you can add in less obviously if you don't want that much but that's going to go into the pot now. actually just leave that little bit out because it looks like quite a lot of red cabbage and the last thing to go in is some haricot beans so that all goes in give it a good stir oh it looks really really delicious Now that just needs to go back on the heat. So I need to put the cooker on again. So that just goes back on the heat. 
for another 10 minutes. So that's had 10 minutes. Now the very last thing to do is to add your half a tablespoon of double cream into the pot. And then give it a good stir. And then that just needs to be left for another five minutes and then it's ready to eat. So that's all done now, so I'm going to turn it off. And it looks and smells absolutely delicious. So I'm just going to serve some up into a bowl just for some lunch because it's about half past 12 now. Just grab a spoon. It's such a great way to use up red cabbage. And because it only uses about half a head, it's absolutely perfect. So before I tuck into the soup, I just want to say that I hope you've enjoyed the little cooking program. I hope you get round to making some of the soup because it is really, really delicious. And I just want to say thank you for watching and I will see you all next time. Mmm, so good.